Hey Greenway fans, welcome to the first November episode of Greenway Weekly. I'm Steve Barnett, a junior on your football team. And I'm Casey Rogers, a senior for your track and field team. This past week, the Green Wave women's tennis and swimming and diving teams turned in tremendous feats. We'll take a look at their performance and recap the rest of the Green Wave results. As usual, we will feature the Tulane Student Athlete of the Week and this week's upcoming events. In this episode, we'll also take you inside the Tulane Team Shop, the place where you can get all your Tulane gear. The women of the Green Wave tennis team spent the weekend in Virginia at the Hokie Fall Invitational. Emma Levy, Miriam Kardatsi, and Emma Helliston all took home singles titles in their respective flights. In doubles action, the teams of Kardatsi and Levy and Lindsay Dvorak and Helliston captured doubles titles in each of their flights. The TU volleyball team would fall short in conference play this Sunday versus Tulsa. Tulane will lose in three straight sets with an attacking percentage of .133 to a Tulsa .283. Grot would tally 12 kills to lead the wave while Martone would grab eight attacks to land second on the team. The Green Wave swimming and diving teams took on Vanderbilt Saturday at the Riley Center, posting eight individual event victories. For Hagar Elgindi, it was the final home meet of her collegiate career, which she closed out with a win in the 50 free. The dive team had a great performance as well, with sophomore Sadie Eicher winning the one meter springboard as well as the three meter. Tulane basketball edged out Loyola this Sunday in a battle for Ferret Street. The final score of the exhibition would be the Green Wave 70 to a Wolfpack 68. The Wave shot 44% from the floor. True freshman Ricky Tarrant had 19 points and newcomer Josh Davis would lead the wave with a double-double, scoring 21 points and grabbing 10 rebounds. With a tough first half, the Green Wave were down 31-0, but the wave regrouped during the halftime and freshman Dominique Robertson began the second half strong by returning a fumble 18 yards for a touchdown. Quarterback Ryan Griffin and sophomore receiver Wilson Van Hooser followed suit with a 30-yard touchdown pass, changing the score to 31-17. Griffin responded to a SMU score by connecting with freshman receiver Justin Shackelford for a 49-yard touchdown pass, adding to his 5,853 career passing yards, putting him sixth in the two-lane record books. The Green Wave fought until the end but couldn't pull off a win, losing to SMU 45-24. Tulane's women's bowling team posted a 2-9 record at this past weekend's three-day Southern Challenge. The Green Wave earned victories over Mississippi Valley State and Prairie View. Sarah Knapp averaged a team-high 178, and Jessica Zwick bowled an average of 169, including rolling a team's best 188 in the third game. The student athlete of the week is Emma Levy, a junior from women's tennis. She has maintained over a 3.0 GPA as a public health major. Levy claimed a pair of flight championships over the weekend at the Hokie Fall Invitation. For the fall, she finished with nine singles victories and ten doubles wins. The Tulane Shop provides the biggest selection of Tulane apparel around. Check out all the store has to offer at shopgreenwave.com. Stop by the shop or follow them on Facebook and Twitter for weekly sales and in-game promotions. That's it for this episode of Greenway Weekly. For more information on Tulane Athletics, be sure to check out the Green Wave on Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure to visit TulaneGreenWave.com, the official website for Tulane Athletics. Thanks for watching. Roll, Roll Wave! wave.